praises to Yahweh, my Shem, Yahweh Shai, that were honest and apostles of GMS. Alright, this is a GMS born again slash GMS um, holy voice. Pretty much, we're gonna get down to the um, to the physical fact how we as um, Israelites, when we come down from the heavens, we're gonna wreck shop, okay? Because the the, the 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 kingdom of heaven is not talking about what actual kingdom doesn't come from the sky. It's talking about within us. It may it start with starting with the the elect, right? Get that first. Okay, this is um it's gonna be this is Luke 17 and 21. Neither shall they say lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of the most high is within you. And it's talking the you is talking, who is he talking to? He's talking to the Israelites. Which are today, fast forward today, is Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the, 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 the children of Israel. When you break the Israel in the, in the Hebrew, is Yasha Allah. He is the prince of the power. All right? So the kingdom of heaven is within us. Meaning, wherever we go, that's where it's going to be at. So when, it's, when he talks about the kingdom of heaven coming from the skies, it's literally not talking about an actual place, a, a, a city that was created. No, he's talking about us. Because we're being rebuilt right now. The elect is being rebuilt. Right? And Yahweh Shai is the head, he's a cornerstone. And, they, and every other elect is, is being built up around him. Okay? So we're, we're being built up right now through the spirit. That's why we got to go out there in the highways and the byways. That's, and, and push this word out. That's why we gotta we gotta push this word out in countless videos. Cause right now we edifying and building up the the, 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 the elect, man. All right. You got that, Corinthians? All right, yeah. This is um. This is First Corinthians. All right. Fifteen. First Corinthians fifteen. I'm starting verse fifty. Now this I say, brethren. That flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. So these, these flesh that we have, we this this this, this can't go to the, the uh, to the Most High. When it when the chariots come, well, the way we look, the way we are right now, and these weak ass, pathetic ass, fleshly bodies, which people so so much exalt themselves into, so much people love their bodies. All right, all the pleasures that come with it. This shit's not coming. It's not going with us, man. All right, because the only thing that's, that the Lord is requiring is the spirit, our spirits. It's, our spirits is being being purged right now. That's why we're getting sick. The sicknesses, if you really think about it, when you're sick, you only lead, you, you only, when you're sick, you at your most, this humblest point, man. You're at the, the point of dying. You are being true and honest to the, your creator. That's why people, when they get sick, they always pray. They, 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 they do crazy ass prayers, man. They pray to like 20 times a day just to get through that one day. But guess what? That's genuine to that's genuine to Yahweh. All right? Because he knows we have no other strength. We have no other hope, man. We can't go out there and build up arms. We get we're sickly, man. So we can't take these sickly, um, GMO infected, polluted bodies with us. Okay? You know? All right. Read that again. No, keep going. All right. All right, can I with the camera? Neither doth corruption and her incorruption. Yeah, neither co corruption, because these, these bodies are corrupted. The air that we breathe is corrupting us. The food that we eat is corrupting us. So everything about us is not authentic anymore. When you came in this earth, like there's a certain generation that was like the, the, the last few good generation of people that came naturally. Other than that, everybody else came out in synthetic fashion, man. Either their parents had some type of drugs, you know. Obviously, when you, uh, um, when your mother buried you, she would take some type of drugs to get that pain out. Okay, so all that shit fucks with you. And you had a a, a great <laughs> generation. This brother and I could contest. You had the crack epidemic. Okay, so you had all those kids that was on crack, that was born in this, that was born in this world. So everything about us, technically, is not authentic. It's not original. Everything about us is corrupt, corrupted. Then the things that we that we are we're programming in this world, we are corrupted. And before we came in, all of us did some type of wickedness, man. So all that's not gonna carry. Unlike the Egyptians who are stupid and have their treasures, think they're gonna bring their treasures with them to the afterlife, we're not bringing nothing with us. Only thing that's gonna come with us is our, 
as our spirits, you know? Yep. All right. Behold, neither doth, no, I'm gonna read that. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold. And the incorruption, Salakia, is that immortal body that we waiting for. Because right here, this is our, this is where our body abode uh, 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 Okay, which when you look at the word abode, it means house. This is where our spirit dwells in, in our, these physical bodies. But in the spiritual world, we have a spiritual body that's waiting for us. All right? So those are the incorruptible things. We you know what? Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. In the twinkling of an eye. So quick as we are here, as, a, as quick, we're going to be trans, trans, um, transported to, to Yahweh Shai, man. When Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to take the elect. He's going to allow our enemies to see who we were that got beamed up. But other than that, in the twinkling of an eye, in the quickness, we're going to be in our immortal flesh. Man. No one wanted to be part of the elect. Okay, so we, this 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 thing is really is just a shell of of this of the disaster, man. We're not taking this back with us, man. Go to um, that was it, right? No, nah, no. Nah. At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and yeah, we and shall. The dead, the dead is the, those who are gonna get killed for this truth. All right, those who died in this truth. Those are the dead that's gonna be raised up first, man. They're gonna be the first fruits to go because they're the ones that they literally put their life, their life on the line. Okay, men like uh, Marsh, King Marshall, all right, Abba Bivis, okay, Yaquan. These men, they're gonna, they're gonna be the first ones to go up. And whoever gets beheaded for not taking that chance, you know. And we shall be changed. And we shall be changed, man. We're gonna be changed in the twinkling of an eye. All right, now give me that revelation. Okay, this is Revelation, chapter 21, verse 1 to 4. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And a new heaven and a new earth is not literally talking about a new, uh, actually brand new earth, brand new heaven. It's not talking about the heaven is talking about what? The rulership. The rulership is going to go from translate, be transferred from one people to another. So it's going to be a fresh start. All right, when you look it up, um, that word uh, new, it's canos, if I'm not mistaken. I won't edit it, but it means to new, to renew. So the earth is gonna be refreshed again. Because when when the, the nuclear bombs hit here in America, the whole world's gonna rock to and fro. New islands is gonna come about. The, um, the Greenland, all that ice is gonna melt. So everything is gonna be, is gonna be refreshed. It's gonna be like, if, uh, as it was in the beginning of time, man. The new garden in Eden. That's what it's talking about. You know? Okay. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And it is gonna be passed away with what? Thermonuclear flame, man. Those ICBM missiles that these countries are pointing at each other, they're gonna help usher the new era, man. The new age. Our age, man. Because that's the Lord's weapon, that's the Lord's indignation. He's gonna use those weapons that these men created to destroy each other, and he's gonna have them destroy one another. But at the same time, it's gonna be the, the it's gonna bring everything to a refreshing mind, man. Because you think about it, fire is the ultimate cleansing agent. So all this toxic air that we're breathing in, as great, as powerful as the fire is, it's gonna it's gonna burn up all that that garbage in the air. So everything's gonna be refreshed, rejuvenated. And I mean, the sea is talking about the sea of people. There's no more of this mixture of everybody coming together. All right, keep going. No problem. Just going to wait for a minute. All right. And, all right, read that again. And, and there was no more sea. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Yeah, because because the nation of Israel is a woman, a, a, a beautiful, comely woman unto the heavenly Father. All right. So she, we're gonna come back as a bride. The 
if you look at a, a woman when they to get married, they they all they look beautiful. Like they never they like the, they try to make themselves look like it's the most purest thing that was ever created, man. So we're gonna be that that woman again. We're gonna be pure again. All right, that's why we're gonna get changed in the twinkling of eye. Because this corruption, this corruptible body is not gonna come with us. So a new body we're gonna have and a fresh new spirit, because the Lord's gonna put the laws, He's gonna put it within us. So we're gonna be fresh, we're gonna be brand new again. All right, you know? And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. And it, it, that's literal, all right? It's not dealing with the women, is, she's not even a part of it. She's under her men. So the, the, the men of the nation of Israel, that's what the Lord's dealing with, man. Who we always dealt with. Okay? We don't. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. And the Most High himself is going to be with us, man. And Yahweh Shah is always going to be with us. That means that we're never going to go off. That's what it's talking about, the new Jerusalem. Which is the, the newly refreshed Israelites, man. Which are you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans today. That's what y'all they call you today. You are the you're gonna be brand new. Go to the Lord, you know? And the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And that proves right then and there. Because does a, can a city cry? No. The city is just full of stones, okay, and buildings. So it's talking about the people. And why he's gonna wipe that tears from us? Because we, we serve our bondage over here. All right? Keep going. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So the mortal things that we go through is gonna all pass away, all right? So we're no longer gonna suffer. We're no longer going to captivity. We're no longer gonna go through any harsh thing anymore, right? We're no longer gonna get sick. You don't have to worry about catching STD. You don't long have to worry about losing your breath, catch um, uh, diabetes, heart attacks. You're not gonna worry about none of those things because we don't. None of those things are gonna hinder us anymore. We're gonna have conquered death and everything. All the, everything that that holds us down here in society is the thing that's gonna be wiped away from us. We're gonna because we're gonna be immortal. We're never gonna die. All right. With that being said, all right, shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. We have something to pray and hope for. That's why we have to keep pushing this word, man. We have to keep pushing this word so we can get those immortal bodies, man. All right? And we don't longer have to be worried about things in our mind no, no longer. And if the Lord is going to destroy us, man. So with that being said, shalom to the elect.